Welcome back. Our guest on this episode is Philip Kayode Moses, a prominent Nigerian producer who has worked with many A-list artists and I can say he's probably the tallest man in YBNL. Hi, Phils. Hi, hello. Hi. How you doing? Thanks for joining no us. No yeah, thanks thank with you. your presence. Mm. All of your presence. <laughs> and your mighty presence. Ah, man. Thanks for having me, man. It's good to be here. Okay, mm -hmm. let's start from your intro. Mm. Re... Please finish it. Ready. Read the mark. Cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's it's really ma cool. Mm -hmm. Ayo. It's Ayo. not it's not really man cool and young, please. Uh -huh. It's really re ma cool. cool. Ayo. Ayo. So it's basically the rhythm is cool but with like a twist to it. So what's the really Ayo? Cool. Really ma cool, Ayo. Like the rhythm is so cool. So really like rhythm. Oh rhythm is cool, yo. Yeah. Really ma cool. A twist Ayo. To it, like a patwa twist. Where did I who twisted this for you? Did any money, oh, my friend, did you any money? Oh, oh yeah. that's cool. <laughs> Enters. We were like, ah, read him and cool and young. That makes sense. <laughs> mm. then, nah, that's the way it is. That's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about your your journey. I mean, okay. you have a name now. Like, you don't, you don't really need that much introduction. Mm -hmm. But before mm -hmm. we knew your name, did you think that, were you very certain, like, this is what I want to do and I have what it takes? Um, I was I was certain of the music. I was certain of, okay, yeah, this is where I want to make music. But I, I, I had no idea, like, what was going to come out of it? I wasn't expecting it. I just wanted to make music. So. Right. Yeah. So that was. I was. Do you yeah, but I knew this well? was what I wanted to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. You do. Yeah. So very well, actually. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you it helps you help the artist get yeah, the sound right. I, I, I do that a lot. I do a lot of um, a lot of songwriting, a lot cool. of um, backing vocals, and like you know, vocal, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. But you're gonna hear me sing soon. Oh. Oh. Maybe oh. you you be singing at tea time yet. Yeah. Uh, no, right. <laughs> not now, <laughs> but you're going to hear it soon. Just okay, so yeah. let's talk about the your most recent work. That has okay. to be Apollo, yeah? yeah you Apollo. produced about 10 songs, yeah, 11? Yeah, give or take. Yeah. Maybe 9, 9, 10. 9, 10. Mm -hmm. How was it working with Fireboy and uh, what is that special ingredient in Fireboy that is that we don't know, that's blowing our mind? Fireboy is, Fireboy is very comfortable to work with, actually. Is um, his vibe is very natural. Right. He, we don't have to force it anytime we're in the studio. It just comes to us, and it's we connect a lot on like on a musical level. We connect a lot. So he's a very he listens. Mm. He's not um, he's humble. So like, I mean, of course we have that talk that that battle of mm -hmm. oh this Creative is my idea, talk. this yeah. is my idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's. But we we'll always compromise and we we'll always like find a middle point. So he he listens. He listens to me. I listen to him, and we we'll just mm. find a middle point to just make it make it work. What, what has then been? He hasn't what, mentioned what the ingredients. It? That's okay. oh, the a ingredient. very special thing about him. He's he's a, he's he's an old man in a young body. Mm. He's a very wise person. Okay. Yeah, and I, I feel like if you listen to his lyrics very well, you you can hear that in his. In yeah, his yeah, quite well. much. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's not. He hasn't. Person. I've not heard him say you have to shake bum bum and. See my chain chain. He's yeah, but there's nothing but wrong in that. No, though. it isn't. But I feel like that reveals that, more of the person's intellect. I'm sure there are other people who are smart, but I won't be able to say, "Oh, you're very smart." And he probably will be shaking bum bum in the next album. Uh, he's only shaking bum bum yeah. in this one now okay. with the music video. <laughs> we saw some, some bum bums and stuff. But he's he's giving a lot of effort into. Anyway, enough about Fireboy. Mm -hmm. I want to know what the hardest person that you've worked with was. You kind of mentioned the name. Tell me why that was hard. Can I mention name? That would be great. No, I can't. I can't. Ah, why, would, why would I do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, for me, it's all about the vibe. It's all about the energy. If the energy is wrong from the get-go, then I find it difficult to work right. with you. Because we are... Music is not... We're not making... It's not like a... It's not like you're making a, a product where you have like all the ingredients and you don't really... It's energy. It's creativity. Creativity takes energy to try right. to survive. Yeah. So if the energy is wrong from the get-go, um, it's hard to work. So um, yeah, like I, there was one. There's one particular incident that I can, I, of course, I cannot mention the person's name, but the energy was just off from the get go, and I think I just, I just gave up on the song at some mm. point. I was like, nah, this can't work. Bro. Okay. You didn't do it. Nah, I didn't do it. Oh, I was going to <laughs> set the problem kid over yeah. the weekend, an interview ah, he had, and he was talking about. He was asked um, how he chooses people he works, he work with, and he was saying that. Um, he has to be your friend to work with you. Okay, that if he's okay. not your friend or doesn't know what you stand for, mm -hmm. that he cannot work with you. So my question is, I mean, if it's business and you're trying to make money, uh, because you already know that it mm -hmm. feels like it's the same for you, mm -hmm. 
Okay. Can't okay. that part of that person be kept aside and just bring the creativity to the table and work? Must you have a level of um, similarities before you work with them? Not necessarily similarities, but it's just there has to be. Okay, so this is this is how I see music here. Yeah. Music mm -hmm. is a story. So I am bringing my story, you are bringing your story, and we're creating something together. You get so like I feel like to a certain level there has to be as little as it is a, a level of understanding between both parties, between mm -hmm. both creatives on how to like make it work. Mm -hmm. You get so there has to be that friendship, mm -hmm. not like in best the, friends, not like best friends or mm -hmm. besties or there has, be there has to be a connection to okay. make the music work. I want to know your relationship with um, Olamide. I don't know if I can use best friend because you work with him a lot. So I mean, <laughs> think y'all are really tight. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's, I, there's also word on the street that people even assume you guys are blood brothers. From yeah. your surnames, I doubt that. But yeah. what's the relationship? <laughs> Um, Alamidi has been my friend from I can't remember how long right for how long right now. But um, his family, his family mm. it will always be family. So is that how did you guys meet? What was the story? We met um, when I was interning under ID Kabasa at okay. Kodetunes. So it was it was kind of like an intern too. Then so we were the go and buy food, go and buy food boys. Mm. You get we were the rice fifteen era, or thirteen era boys. You get me? Yeah. So that's how we bonded, and you know. Mm. Uh, we, we, we would steal Kabasa's password, you know, in the studio, and then after he left the studio, we would enter, enter and then work. So that's how we started working mm, from together, here, okay. together. Yeah, so yeah, so that's how we met. All right, I, I want to know more about your inspiration. Is, is that from your childhood? Is that you know daily life? Like what what makes you feel basically? Um, everything actually. I I get inspired by life in general, mm. like the. The smallest thing inspire me and the biggest things inspire me. Like the I can get inspired from a from an Instagram video, from a child down the street, from a sound I hear on the radio, from I could, I get inspiration from everything. I'm I'm always open. Right. Yeah, and you yes. put that into your work. Yeah, yeah so let's work. let's talk about um, recognition for producers in this part okay. of the world. Some I have the opinion that it is a Nigerian thing. The artists just want to shine. And some would say, you know what, it's just a producer. He's not supposed to really be the mm -hmm. face except he wants mm -hmm. to deliberately be the face of his own brand. What do you think about that space? Do you think um, you guys are not appreciated enough, especially in this part of the world? I feel like for me, I feel like appreciation is a relative thing because mm -hmm. um, to each his own. What do you want as a producer? Mm -hmm. What kind of appreciation do you want? Do you want to be out there? Do you want to be behind? Because some, some people like to be behind the scenes. Yeah. Some people just like to be behind the scenes, make their money, make their impact. And, and some people want to be so to each his own. Appreciation is a relative term. What would you want? I'm getting what I want already. Oh. So what's that? Money. To be known. Yeah. To be known. Yeah. What else mm. is there? Make an impact. What what else is there that you are trying to reach for? I mean, basically, maybe your short term goals. Like right now, what is that one thing that you are working to that you want? Because I mean, it's re already proven to the industry and the whole country. Everyone who cares listens to your voice that you know what you're doing, right? So mm -hmm. what else are you trying to reach for? I I like change a lot. So okay. I'm, I'm I'm and I like switching things up on other people's feet, just mm -hmm. sweeping people off their feet. But um. I have a project coming up very soon, okay. and um, that's going to be the change. I'm not going to say more than that, hey. but that's going to be the okay, change. But still on the change, if you were going to change anything in the industry right mm -hmm. now, because you, if you're talking about key players, your name will come up anyways. What, what is that one thing you would want to change, since you love change? Um, what's that one thing I would love to change? Um... Hold on. It's a very tricky question. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, because uh, there are a lot. Mm -hmm. but I just need to look for one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just pick one from the lot. Put the music first, mm -hmm. and also like that. in that same bracket, say the truth. Hmm. That's vague or big. You want to break <laughs> that? Say the nah. truth down. No. <laughs> Why? Well, you That's people are selling like dreams in the industry awards. It's, yeah, no, that, it's, it's like just a treading on integrity mm. type vibes here. Is that what it is? No, that's that's not what it is. Just just be open, mm. like open in we, terms of transparency. No, not not in terms of in terms of. We are all humans. The mm. the music industry is not perfect. It's not mm. all glamour. Right. You get me. We are human. We have human problems as well. Mm. So I feel like. 
if the industry is more open, people will truly understand. Like, Strong we go point. through a lot. Yeah. Okay, our time me? is so, up, yeah. but put the music first, say the truth. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching, and of course, do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090-605719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you will go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washington, who had to step down. And of course, our guest Riri. <laughs> my name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.